to continue to do. I told Pastor that God is setting us up. God is setting us up for something great. This is just the reset. And we're going to be able to walk around in this land and look at where we were and say, I ain't there no more. God is starting us all back over. It's a grand opening. This is going to be a grand opening. <laughs> Those doors that God is going to have open, it's going to be a grand opening. People are going to walk in and say, wait a minute, what is that? Come on, baby, come look at what's on the, on the showcase, what's on the mantle. Come look at what God is doing in my life. This thing is big. This thing is big. Let me tell you how big God is. We knew that. This right here was a move of God. On Monday, Pastor and I went out to go and look for a flatbed truck so that we could have a stage. And we went right down the street to this company right here where they had 18 wheel trucks and flatbeds out there. This is how you know when God is moving. Pastor went in and talked to the man, and the man said, yeah, come on, drop me down and let me see. He came here, drove in, and looked, and he said, where y'all want me to put it? Pastor told him right here. Pastor said, how much are you going to charge me? He looked and said, I ain't charging you nothing. What 
What you're doing is for the community. Yeah. What you're doing is about God. Yeah. There's a man next door. He owned all that land over there. So, Pastor, we need this out here. He said, whenever y'all have something, I'll cook for your whole church. You ain't got to pay me nothing. He said, I'll provide the food and everything. He said, what I do, I can feed the whole community. Then, he said, whenever y'all need my trucks, whenever y'all need anything I got, y'all can get it at no charge. Let me tell you something. When you do what God tell you to do, because see, we bought this building a year ago, and we've been having so many struggles and so much been going on with this building and the enemy kept coming up against us. We put a brand new roof on it and the roof was no good. They had to tear that roof off. The contract that got us for thousands of dollars. Got another contractor. They got us. We was like, God, what is going on? But how many of you know, when it's a God move, the enemy will try to come and stop it. So we didn't have shaken faith. We just begin to pray and war because we understand that we were warring and wrestling against the principality. We begin to war and pray. Pastor went to the auction one day. And Pastor Ben knew this contractor, but never had the resources or the number to get in touch with him. And he went to the auction one day and he called me. He said, babe, he said, you remember that man I told you that had built that big old 10,000 square foot house? I said, yeah. He said, I just saw him at the auction. He said, and I got his number and when I get back to Columbia, because he went to the auction out of town, he said, he's going to meet me at the building. We're going to go to the building with him. He's going to look at the building and we're going to See what he said. Got to the building and walked in. He looked at the roof. He looked up. First thing he said was rev. He said, y'all wrestling against a principality. He said, see, y'all got power. Y'all got power. And the enemy knows that if y'all Get y'all camp set up over here. Y'all gonna change up some stuff. He said, Yeah, rap. I'm gonna take on your project. Yeah. We was like, All right, now, nah, you, you, you know, we, 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 we spend a lot of money. And we need to make sure you help us with this impress now. We need to make sure that you you do what needs to be done because we that money ain't, ain't looking right. He said, don't worry about that, I got you. After a while, he come in, he looking at stuff, he get up on the roof, mind you, financially, 60 something thousand dollars, that's a 60 something thousand dollar roof that's going up right now. And so, has to say more than that. That was just the estimate that was given to us. But the fact that he went up there, we didn't have the finances to do it. But we had some people that had the heart of God. I'm gonna say this. And we had some people that saw God and saw what needed to be done. I'm gonna tell you how good God is. I'm gonna tell somebody, cause somebody out here is looking for God to do something in your life and financially you need the breakthrough. Well, God, not only gave us one of these checks, but two of these checks. Two $15,000 checks. Yeah, I'm telling it, I'm telling it, I'm telling it. Because somebody out here needs to know that when you're doing the work of God, the devil can't stop you. I don't care how many people who are and praying against it. I don't care how many people speak against it. I don't care how many spies they send. I don't care how many people that come. When it's God's business, nothing can stop you. Yeah, turn around and look up. What do you see? A roof. Mind you, we had a flat roof. 
the same level. The same level. Y'all better catch this in the spirit. See, the contractors that came the first time, they put the same type of roof, the same level roof. God said the reason why that one didn't last, because I need y'all to understand that you had to go up. Y'all had to go up. So I'm building you a roof that's going up now. Because where you're going, you're going up. I got on the ladder and I walked up there. I walked around, y'all. That's an 8,000 square foot roof up there. That's a house. We all can get some rooms in there. But you know what God said? God said, tell the people right now to believe me for big. Don't try to get the same thing. <laughs> Don't pray for the same thing. Pray for something bigger. Pray to go up. Don't pray for the same room. Oh, God. See, we was only getting money to get the same type of room. God says, no, you don't have to worry about how you're going to pay to go up because you don't have to worry about how to pay to go up. All you got to do is get connected to me and I'll take you up. You're not there anymore. You're not in that same level roof anymore. You're not on the same level. Baby, you're not there anymore. You went up. And when you're in God, there's no other way to go. So I say to you today, those of you that are believing, I need you to believe strongly that this is your way up. This is your way up now. God already did it. What you spoke into the atmosphere, God already did it for you. He already did it. There's no need for you to go back and say, God, can you do this? No, all you got to do is say, God, I thank you that you did it. Faith says, I thank you that you did it. 